Duprogen's disease starts as a nodule underneath the skin um, and then it develops over time into a cord which can go either towards the wrist or towards the fingers. Eventually it will pull on the fingers and they may well bend and when they cause a fixed bending it's called a Duprogen's contracture. Duprogen's disease has various elements. First of all, there's a family history and there's a genetic component, so certain people will be more susceptible to getting Duprogen's disease. And second of all, there are environmental factors, and those can include trauma to the hand, or diabetes, epilepsy and anti-epileptic drugs, and various other things. Radiotherapy is used in high doses to, in order to treat cancer and the way it works in cancer is it stops things growing. And again in Duprogen's disease it's a benign condition but it still stops it growing. Additionally there's an element of inflammation and radiotherapy is also good at stopping inflammation. Radiotherapy is used for patients with early progressive Duprogen's disease. The early part of that is that they have nodules and cords but no contracture or very minimal contracture. Progressive means that in the last 6 to 12 months there's been either a growth in the nodules, development of more nodules or development of cords. In those patients with no radiotherapy we know that by 8.5 years approximately 60% of people have further progression and 30% of people will need surgery for contracture. With radiotherapy that 60% progression is reduced to 20% and the need for surgery is reduced from 30% to 8%. So radiotherapy reduces by around three times the risk of progression or the need for surgery for contracture. The first thing we do when preparing for radiotherapy is to mark up the hand and essentially we draw around it with a marker on the skin and then add a margin to make sure that we don't miss any. After that time some specialised shields and moulds will be made to make sure that the parts of the hand that we don't want to treat are shielded from the, uh, the electrons or the x-rays. When the treatment actually starts, the patient will have their hand outstretched, the machine will move around them. Depending on which sort of machine is used, it will either not touch them or will touch them. But the x-rays themselves are entirely painless. There's no needles or scalpels, there's no heat or light or pain or anything like that. It doesn't make you drowsy or dizzy or nauseous or anything like that. We give it every day for five days and it takes about 10 minutes each day. There's then a gap after that first week of treatment of approximately two or three months and then we repeat that week of treatment. So it's two weeks with two or three months in between. Radiotherapy is used to treat people with early progressive Duprogen's disease. So the patients that it doesn't treat are patients who have a nodule which has never grown. So sometimes that happens to people because the, the uh, course of Duprogen's disease is variable and unpredictable. It also doesn't have a role in people who have advanced disease. So in other words, people who have a contracture of more than 10 degrees, in other words their fingers are bent and can't be extended, are not eligible for radiotherapy. There is however an increasing role, as well as treating people with early disease, to treat people who've had bent fingers and then had it released and then give them treatment to stop the bending coming back. So in other words, after surgery or needle or Zyapex. Radiotherapy is used in the early stage of disease um, uh, where there are nodules and cords and either no contracture, in other words no fixed bending, or very minimal contracture of between 1 and 10 degrees. It's not used in the advanced stages of the disease where there's more contracture than 10 degrees.